let f of x equal two inverse tangent of sine two x, we want to find f prime of x, the derivative function. Notice how f of x is a composite function. It's actually a composite function of three functions, so we'll have to be careful when applying the chain rule. Notice how the outer function is the inverse tangent function, and therefore, we'll be using this derivative formula here that does include the chain rule, where u would be the inner function. So notice how in this case, u would be equal to sine two x, which is also a composite function. And now that we've identified u, we need to find u prime, or du dx. So if u is equal to sine two x, u prime, or du dx, will also require the chain rule, where the derivative of sine two x would be equal to cosine two x times the derivative of two x, which is two. So u prime is equal to cosine two x times two. Let's write this as two cosine two x. Now that we've identified u and u prime, we can now just find the derivative of two times inverse tangent u with respect to x using our derivative formula here. Which means f prime of x again is equal to two times the derivative of inverse tangent u, which would be one divided by the quantity one plus u squared, where u is sine two x, so we'd have sine two x squared times u prime, which is two cosine two x. Now let's go ahead and simplify f prime of x is equal to, our numerator would be two times two cosine two x, or four cosine two x. And our denominator is going to stay the same. We'd have one plus, we can write sine two x squared as sine squared two x. So while this is our derivative function, to type this into our online homework, we'd enter f prime of x equals, we'd have a set of parentheses for the numerator, so we'd have four cosine two x, so there's a numerator, divided by our denominator in parentheses, one plus, and then for sine squared two x, we need to enter sine two x squared, and then we have another closed parenthesis for our denominator. Of course, the easy way, though, would just be to use the math palette to enter this correctly. I hope you found this helpful.